How's it going, everybody? Too Spooky here. And today is the second day in this little Bleach marathon we're having to count down the ending of Bleach. If you are unaware, the last chapter of Bleach, which is chapter 685, will be debuting to the United States on Thursday, August 4th, 2016. Which, if you count today, is only three days away. So because Bleach is ending, I'm having a little Bleach marathon with some Bleach content to just help say thank you to Bleach in a way. Anyways guys, today I've got a very special video for you guys, and today... We're going to be counting down 10 facts about Gein Ichimaru from Bleach. This video was suggested by... A lot of you guys, and when I say a lot, I mean a lot. I never realized how many of you guys actually suggested this video until I was looking for comments. And on that note, a couple of you might be shown in here twice just because I lost track of who was who at one point. But a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video for quite a long time, and I'm sorry you've had to wait so long, but here it is. So thank you all so much for the suggestion, and I hope you all enjoy. But now that all that's out of the way, grab your gee guy and let's get right into the facts. Number 1. Kubo stated in a 2004 Shonen Jump character commentary regarding Gein's popularity, especially among women, <laughs> hey ladies, was a great surprise to him, as Kubo had attempted to make Gein creepy and off-putting in appearance. And being that Gein is one of my favorite characters, one of the reasons I liked him so much was because he was supposed to be creepy, but he really didn't seem like it. To me, at least. Number 2. Gein was among the four Bleach characters to make the top 100 list of New Type Japan's 2007 list of the most popular anime characters. The other three were Ichigo, Toshiro, and Byakuya, which the fact that Gein made it on this list is actually pretty impressive considering the sheer amount of characters in this series. Number 3. Gein's birthday is September 10th. Number 4. One of the biggest mysteries and misconceptions about Gein have been his eyes. See, they were changed and portrayed differently many times throughout the series. They are shown as blue on the cover of Volume 20 and Episode 270 onwards. However, in the early episodes of the anime, they were depicted as red. And to make matters worse, in Bleach, Dark Souls, and Bleach, Blade of Fate, they were shown to be colored yellow. But in case you're still unsure which color his eyes really are, they are supposed to be blue. Number 5. Gein was 6 foot 1 inches tall, and he weighed 152 pounds. Number 6. When Gein was younger, he was considered a child genius or prodigy. He was highly proficient in his classes at the Shinigami Academy, and he graduated in only one year. His skill was already evident at a young age when he gained a seated position in the 5th division shortly after graduating, and ended up surpassing the previous child prodigy, Kayan Shiba, who was already an adult and had taken 5 years to become a seated officer, while it took Gein only a short time after graduating. The prodigy after Gein was Toshiro. Number 7. Gein has been one of the most popular characters in the series for quite a while. In the second and third popularity polls, he ranked 5th place in both. 3,602 votes in the second and 4,039 in the third. However, he dropped a bit in the fourth poll, ranking 12th place at 3,699 votes. Number 8. According to the official bootleg, Gein possessed incredible skill at needle threading. Number 9! Gein's Zanpakuto is named Shinza, and his Shikai is triggered with the phrase, shoot to kill. However, for some reason, the English dub has used a bunch of different commands to release his Shikai, such as impale him, slay them, pierce his flesh, and, of course, shoot to kill. Anyway, what his Shikai is, it extends his blade at very high speeds to impale his opponents from a distance. The blade also carries tremendous force when extending. He can even maintain the extension and swing the activated Zanpakuto in wide swipes, attacking multiple targets quickly 
and simultaneously. And the moment that you've all been waiting for... Number 10. Gein's Bankai abilities are essentially the same as his Shikai's, but its force, cutting power, length, and speed are vastly amplified to the point where Gein is capable of swiftly cutting an entire town in half, with a single slash, while standing a great distance away. Gein claims that his sword can extend up to 13 kilometers at 500 times the speed of sound, exactly 171,500 meters per second, in order to arrive at its full length in under 0.08 seconds. This makes it not only the longest Zanpakuto, but the fastest Zanpakuto in Bleach as well. And the blade can return to its normal size at the same rate. However, this is not Gein's true Bankai ability. The actual ability is that it turns into dust for just a second when it expands and contracts, and there is a deadly poison inside the blade that dissolves and breaks down cells, which causes the target to completely break down and dissolve at a cellular level from the inside out. We are still unsure if the first part of his Bankai is actually part of his Bankai at all, or if he just made that up as a way to cover up his true Bankai ability. But it's not over yet, guys. We've got one bonus fact for you today, which is number 11. So Gein's battle data was released at one point in time, and it is as follows. His offense is 80, his defense is 80, his mobility is 80, his Kido and Rietsu is 80, his intelligence is 80, and his physical strength is 80, with a total of 480 out of 600 points overall. But there you have it everybody, 10, no wait, 11 facts about Gein Ichimaru from Bleach. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today, and hopefully you learned something. If you did, make sure to give this video a big old like, but that's not all. If you leave a like on this video, there is a 100% chance that you will save me from my crippling depression. That is correct, if you leave a like, I will just be really ecstatic because I've got them Bleach Blues, and the fact that Bleach is ending, it's really bringing me down. So if you could leave a like, that would just be the best. And if you could, please hit that subscribe button, then you can be notified about future videos as they come out, and you can be notified about this little Bleach marathon as it continues. Only three days left if you count today until Bleach ends, and I'm just not ready for it to go. But on that note guys, make sure to let me know which Bleach character you want to learn about next in the comments down below. I stated this in a couple videos before, but just because Bleach is ending does not mean Bleach content will be leaving this channel. So you can expect to see it for quite a long time. And I think I've decided to carry out this marathon until Friday. So there's three more videos after this one. But on that note guys, if you cannot get enough too spooky content, well why don't you click here? For 10 facts about Byaku Yakuchiki, which was actually the previous video in this little Bleach Marathon. And if that's not doing it for you, well why don't you click here for 5 facts about Kenpachi Zaraki. I should warn you though that that video is a little bit of an old one, so it might not be quite as good as some of these newer ones. But on that note guys, I hope you enjoyed this video today, and thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye!